Hey guys, um, this is another strawberry letter, strawberry letter number five. And I just wanted to say this quick kind of disclaimer. When you write in and you ask for advice, I am going to give you that advice. Sometimes it's going to be sugar-coated and it's going to be sweet and all that. And sometimes you're going to get tough love. This is tough love. And ooh, y'all, you got to see it for yourself. Stay tuned. Oh, hey guys, what's up? This is your girl, the Bronze Goddess. This is strawberry letter number five. And this one, I honestly, I can't even believe it. We are going to call this person Drusilla because this is just straight up soap opera right here. I can't, I did two strawberry letters today already. Today's July 28th. And I had planned to just chill, enjoy the rest of my day, just relax. I get an email and um, I was like, oh, it's a strawberry letter. I'll probably do it later on this week. There was so much foolishness in this letter. I had to come back one more again because this is just ridiculous. Okay. Um, mm, okay, let me just go ahead and get on into it. I'm bracing you for the fact that this is sheer foolishness. And it is a, it's kind of a long it's a it's an extremely long letter so I'm gonna read it I'm gonna read most of it and then I'm gonna leave some of it out because it's just way too long uh, my phone is blowing up a little bit so just ignore the tones from my phone and let's get down to the nitty-gritty I met a man when I was 18 I'm now 28 he's eight years older than I am this man has been in my life for the past 10 years uh, if I'm not if not as a significant other just my friend during the time we were a couple, he did some very hurtful things to me. He cheated numerous times, even went so far as to videotape a young lady. I'm going to say bleep, 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 because this is grown up stuff she's talking about. But I don't think he, I don't think that the tape was meant to be found, but I found it. He had gotten the same woman pregnant while I was pregnant. I lost my baby at four months while she was able to give birth to a healthy baby boy. That was one of the most painful times in our relationship. We did, ha we did have our good times in our relationship. When we were together, I felt protected, loved. I was the only person in his world. He was my best friend. He had gotten into some trouble years back, maybe six and a half years ago, and was deported back to his country. During this time, I was by his side the whole time, going back and forth to court, being there for his family, and so forth. I even visited him in his country three times when he was deported. The last time I went to visit him in his country, he was very depressed because of not being able to uh, be there for his family. It was very hard for me to see him this way. Mainly, I tried to be the best, tried to help him the best way that I could. After my third visit, he called me about three months later to tell me that he was getting married to a woman that lived in Canada that he met only weeks ago. I felt like someone had just hit me with the biggest brick ever. Girl, I feel like, okay. Uh, I asked him why he was doing this. He said it was the only way for him to be closer to his family. I asked him if he loved her. He said she loved him, but his feelings for her were questionable. So anyway, um, she goes on to say very lengthy, that they got married and they moved to Canada and were living in Canada for three years. Lately, they've been having problems and though she still kind of kept in contact with his family and family members are telling her that he and the wife are having problems. And so he calls her the nerve, but I'm gonna keep it. He calls her and says, I need, we need to talk. I'm gonna, he goes ahead, he helps himself to buying her a ticket to Canada to come see him so they can talk about what's, what's going on and talk about it. And she wants to know, let me see what are her questions. So I guess I wanna know, would it be wise to see him, to talk to him and hear him out, to be able to seek the answers that I have so many questions to. Also, do you think it is possible that even if I go to see him, I can really close this chapter and move on? I don't want it to be like the la another five years of the same. I need your advice. I have never seen somebody with so much straight up nerve 
in my life. Um, a man or anybody will only do what you allow. And you have allowed him to do so much that he doesn't even seem to feel any guilt or remorse or anything about treating you this way. You have allowed yourself to become a doormat. And that is why he feels comfortable walking all over you. you I would say that you raised the bar, but you lowered the bar so low. It is, oh, you have got to know that you deserve better than this. Whether you're a Christian or not, you got to know that God has better for you than this guy right here. So while you're in a relationship, he impregnates another woman. That's number one. That's bad enough. On top of that, <laughs> he proceeds to, while he's cheating on you, film it and you find the tape. That's two. But the third strike, which means the brother should be out of there. He marries another woman after all you did for him? Girl, you need to run, not walk away from this guy. Oh my goodness. Girl, you know you deserve better than this. There's so many men out here. There's so many men running around here loose and just, he's no prize. I'm not, I don't know him. I don't got to know him to know that he is no prize. Somebody who would do this to you is not, he's not a catch. My, my thing, my problem sometimes with women is that they act like men are so, there's such a shortage of men that you just, you can just settle for stuff like this. Mm -mm. Like the man I talked about in the last strawberry letter. Okay, he was short, but he was a good man. This ain't no good man. You have, First of all, when you're single, you have to be able to differentiate between a good man and a not so good man. This man is no good. He's no good for you. He's no good for nobody else. This, this is not the way you treat a lady. If you consider yourself a lady, a lady does not allow someone to treat her like this. You have allowed far too much. Now, it's, you can't go back and change the past and you can't rewrite history. So what I would suggest for you to do is for you to end it. Whatever he can say, he can say that over the phone. You don't need to see me. You don't need to hug me. And, you know, you don't need to do none of that. He can say whatever he needs to say over the phone. It's too bad you bought the ticket. Nobody told you to buy the ticket in the first place. Since you want to be fast, you, you will have to eat the loss on the cost of that ticket. Because I didn't tell you I was coming. So you need to talk, tell him whatever y'all need to say over the phone. There's nothing else. There's no reason for you to see him. And um, I don't know how you can still have any feelings, any shred of love or anything for someone who can do this to you. My, my suggestion to you, should you talk to him? Okay, if you want to over the phone and you make it clear to him when you first start talking to him, this is going to be the last conversation that we're going to have. So please just get it all out. Say everything that you feel that you need to say because this will be the last time that we talk. If you gotta go so far as to change your number, if that's what it'll take to help you, then you do that. You need to stop communicating back and forth with his family because they just, they're not helping matters by giving you, feeding you insider information about they're having trouble. Uh-uh, don't worry, no. And it's, it's not right. Let him go. Say what you have to say close that chapter in your book and find yourself a real man. Good men are still out there. It's don't settle for this kind of man. This is not, he is no prize. He is no prize. He walks around like he's God's gift to women, but he is not. What else does he have to do? I see how you love him. You got his back through stuff that most women would have left this brother long time ago and you still got his back. I see how he, how you love him, but how in all that he has done, how has that shown you that he loves you? Cause he told you so. 
I'm sure he told the baby mama that. I'm sure he told his wife that. He wasn't worrying about you these last few last few years. He wasn't worrying about you. You owe, I hate to say it this way, Lord, forgive, I hope this don't hurt your feelings, doll. But you owe reliable. He's treating you like old faithful. If don't nobody be there, she gonna be there. Instead of, instead of treasuring that and cherishing that, he's abusing that. Don't allow yourself to be a doormat for him or anybody else. Cut him loose. I'm telling you. I can't even tell you. Girl, cut him loose. He is no prize. You can do so much better. Do not settle. Don't allow yourself to be a doormat. Normally, I would say pray. But do you really need God to tell you what to do here? Come on, girl. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Let him go and let him go over the phone. He didn't respect you. So why are you going to go see him and you're just doing all of this stuff? He calls for you, sends you a ticket, and you come running. No, ma'am. Have some dignity. Say no. Uh-uh. Whatever you need to say to me, you can say over the phone. And make sure you get it all out, brother, because it's the last time we're going to speak. So say, so what, what's, what's wrong now? What? Y'all having problems? That is, that is too bad. That's unfortunate. I'll pray for you and your wife as I move on. Be blessed. Peace. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say? Come on, girl. Girl. Y'all, if you... <laughs> this is straight up so opera. Anyway, if you want to do a video response or comment or whatever, please leave it below. Um, <laughs> I try to be nice and everything and... I'm, I'm really trying to, I'm trying to be good. But girl, you leave me no choice. I can't, I, went, I need to put this to you blunt. As bluntly as I could put this to you. Leave him. He's no good. You can do so much better. Deuces. You tell him, deuces. It has been real. I appreciate all the memories and all that, but they're just that. They're memories. And make him a member. Just let, let him go, man. Let him go. Anyway, ladies, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and definitely, if you have not yet, subscribe. Thank you guys for these strawberry letters. I hope that they're helping you. Um, I hope that um, even if you don't like my advice or whatever, that you'll read the comments and you'll see what other people have to say. Because sometimes my opinion could just be mine. Everybody else, how do y'all feel? Y'all think he's a catch? Does he seem like a prize to you? Is it something you want to bring home to mama? You want to bring him home to mama? Ladies, let her know. So it ain't just from me. Let her know, ladies. Okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Later, Davis. Deuces.